Hi guys, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to talk about hyperthyroidism in the cat, or an overactive thyroid. I'm going to go over what the pet owner sees at home, how I diagnose it, and what we do treatment-wise to manage an overactive thyroid in a kitty cat. When I started practicing medicine, I thought it was so hard to diagnose a hyperthyroid cat, or even pick them out. Now, I feel like I can spot them a mile away. So what does the pet owner see at home in a hyperthyroid cat? Hyperthyroidism is an overactive thyroid. We tend to see this in cats that are over 10, so you have an older cat, which means the cat metabolism is super fast. I mean, it's just burning calories, guys. It's just chewing through those calories. So the cat loses weight. The kitty cat is also super hyperactive. The cat still wants to eat, but again, because the metabolism is so sky high out of this atmosphere, we're still burning through our weight. These cats tend to have a high blood pressure too, and sometimes the behavior changes. They can be more needy, they may vocalize more, they may be confused sometimes. And all of these things can be seen from a hyperthyroid in a kitty cat. So the pet owner rolls in to see me, and they have all these concerns. It's like, hey Dr. Dan, you know, we're just losing weight for the last two or three months and we're eating a lot still and we just meow all night long and I can't figure this out. That's when I show up. With a hyperthyroid kitty cat, we can do a handful of tests, but the ones that I tend to focus on will be our lab panel. We're going to do a thyroid check. We're also going to check the kidneys too, but we're going to do some blood work. And with that blood work, we're going to see if we have an overactive thyroid. When the test comes back, if the thyroid's high, we have a hyperthyroid kitty cat. Once we have our diagnosis, the veterinarian's going to stroll back in, and they're going to provide the owner with that information. And they're going to give a handful of options now. And the good news is, there are options. Most veterinarians tend to gravitate towards three different options. The first one being medical. So the medical option is going to be either a tablet, a liquid, or a transdermal gel. And after talking to the pet owner, the veterinarian and the pet owner will decide what's going to be the most doable for the kitty cat's owner. I say the owner because we all know that cats can be incredibly hard to pill. Or some of them want to spit up the liquid. So some of them just have to have the transdermal gel that goes on the ear. So talk it through together and medicate so that the cat is not too stressed. But once these meds are started, the really cool thing is the T4 levels will drop and that will make that kitty healthy again. The second option I talk about is a food. There is a food out there that will reduce the amount of iodine in the kitty cat's diet, which will directly then reduce the amount of T4 after it's been on the food for a duration of time. This is a great option if you don't want to medicate your kitty cat. However, as we all know, cats can be picky. So sometimes the food, they just don't want to eat it. So that's my big drawback there. The last option, which is probably the coolest option, is radioactive iodine I-131. And this is a really cool thing that a specialist can do that can help correct the overactive thyroid and make the kitty cat normal thyroid again without medications needed after this treatment. It's definitely a little more pricey, but it's a really good option. And I'd encourage you to talk to your veterinarian about this option as well as the other two. I hope this content regarding hyperthyroidism in a kitty was really helpful, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And check out some of my other videos. Take care.